Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial slash routine. This is my foundation routine as of the past month, month and a half. It's really how I've been doing my base in my past couple of videos and a lot of you guys have been asking me like what I've been doing differently, how I've been getting my skin to look so dewy and glowy and I actually did a dewy skin routine tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I did one last summer and I went back and watched it and I was like, is that dewy enough? how I really like it has or have been liking it lately and so this is like my ultimate dewy skin tutorial like this is pulling out all the stuff and really getting your skin to look super glowy and dewy and it still looks natural and like not too much makeup I kept looking off to the side because this pupper was in the side this is Lucy so if you guys are interested in seeing exactly how I got this makeup look then please keep watching so I already slathered my face in moisturizer. I'm using the Glossier moisturizer, and now I'm gonna use an eye cream. Um, I'm using this one by Clinique, it's the Pepstar eye cream. And I don't always use an eye cream before I do my makeup, but when you want your skin to look extra good and when the focus is on the skin, you wanna pull out all the stops and really just do the most, really. You just wanna do the most. <laughs> So I've already done my eyeshadow and even though it's soft gold tones and typically I wouldn't really care that much if I have fallout, when you're doing a skin focused type of look, fallout is not going to be your friend because you're going to, even if it's gold, it could be inevitable. You know, you might get a couple falls of shadow and then you're going to take the shadow off and you're going to have to do patchwork in the foundation and concealer and that's not always the best thing to do. So. Just do your eye makeup beforehand. I'll finish off with my eyeliner and things like that, but do all your shadow work before you start doing your base. So I am gonna start off with a primer. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I'm gonna do a full pump of this. Actually, let's do two. Um, and this is a really great primer because like I said, it keeps, you want products that are gonna keep the skin nice and moist. So you don't wanna be using a mattifying primer. So I'm just gonna spread this all over my face. Okay, <laughs> now we are getting my hair out of the face. Okay, so my favorite things to do when I'm trying to get a foundation to look extremely dewy is mix in an oil and mix in a drop of luminizer. My favorite thing to mix in with foundations is the Moroccan Oil Pure Argan Oil. This is just the best of the best, but there are cheaper, more uh, affordable alternatives. You can get them on Amazon. Another one that I really like is, uh, this one's by Now Solutions. It's jojoba oil, and then I also have avocado oil, both of which work fine. I just prefer the Moroccan oil. So I'm gonna be using a Dior Star foundation. So we are gonna do a pump of Dior Star, we're gonna do a drop of oil, and we're gonna do a drop of luminizer. And then I'm just going to apply the mixture to my face, first using my fingertips, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a foundation brush. I'm using this one by It Cosmetics. It's the Heavenly Luxe foundation brush, and I just buff that into the skin. Now I'm going to conceal the under eyes and the skin with a dewy finish concealer. And this is my new favorite concealer ever. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. And I'm in the shade Medium. I'm just gonna put this under the eyes and the corners of my nose. And I'm also gonna conceal that little spot of hyperpigmentation that I have on my forehead as well. You guys can already see how beautiful this concealer is and just how reflective and dewy it looks. It's amazing and what I'm gonna do to blend in the concealer take my beauty blender which is already damp with water you're just going to spray some fix plus all over the beauty blender fix plus has a uh, glycerin in it so this is gonna make everything blend out more beautifully so then you're just gonna take your beauty blender with the fix plus on it and you're going to just Blend in the concealer and you're also going to just go over the foundation a little bit because it's going to get rid of any foundation strokes. So I'm going to concept, concept, I'm going to set my concealer with a loose powder. Um, I'm going to be using the Kijendo Maifashi Light Reflecting Powder today. This is a Sedona Lace FB05 and you're just going to swirl the product, tap off a little bit of product, swirl it into the lid, tap off the excess and then set the under eyes. And I'm also going to set around my nose because I don't want that concealer to move around either. Whatever is left on the brush, wherever you tend to get the most oily, just put a little bit of powder on those areas. So for me, that would be 
my forehead, my nose, a little bit on the chin. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. Um, I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 850 angled brush and I'm going to be using the medium mocha shade from the Too Faced Contour Kit. And I'm going to put this in all the areas that I typically would, so under the cheekbones, um, the sides of the nose, around the temple, and under the jawline as well. And then I'm going to bronze the skin. So I'm going to be using the bronzer from the It Cosmetics Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc. I think that is the most ridiculous name ever. Just call it the Vitality Face Disc. I'm going to pick it up on the It Cosmetics Wand Ball Powder Brush and I'm going to bronze up my skin. And you take the bronzer, just a little bit of product because you don't want to use too much, and you sweep it from the cheekbone to the other cheekbone and glide across the nose. And this really gives you that sun-kissed, I've been playing out in the sun all day type of bronze look. I think it looks really cute. So I'm going to go in with a cream blush. This one is by Jouer. It's the Jouer Tint in the shade Petal. And I'm actually going to be picking this up on a brush just because I like the effect of it with a brush a little bit better. And then what I like to do is on the back of my hand, knock off any of the excess and then apply this to the apples of the cheeks in a patting motion. For highlight, I'm going to be mixing two products. We're going to take the Girlactic Face Glow in the shade Natural, and then this is the Vincent Longo La Riviera Bronzer in the shade Golden Glow. You guys can see this is like a really light bronzer and it's more of a highlight brush. So I'm first going to go in with the Vincent Longo Bronzer and the Sedona Lynx FB03. So the product really isn't concentrated, it's just a light diffusion of highlight on the high points of the face. And then I took the Galactic Face Glow on a Real Techniques setting brush and put that on the high points of the face. And I finished off with a couple sprays of Tachi Dewy Luminous Skin Finish. All right guys, so this is the end result. I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions regarding products or anything about the tutorial in general, then feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. And also don't forget to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will have all three directly linked down below for you guys, as well as product links, information, things like that. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.